Hi everybody, T Biz again, and um, I wanted to share with you a great eBay haul that I got the other day. And um, I kind of recently discovered these on my own lately, or rediscovered them. Uh, when I was a kid, I had the the set with the dragon, and I don't know if it came with the Ronin guy and the um, little Zendu guys, or I forget what their names were, but the if it came with red guys or green guy or whoever. But I had a set, and it, I just specifically remember having the um, I guess maybe the little orange dudes and maybe the, the gyps and the mongs. I think that's their names. I can't remember. But uh, little purple dudes are the little orange guys. And um, and these these guys are funny, by the way. They're very strange looking, very bizarre. I, I often wonder if the person who created these, or the people that created these, were on some kind of maybe kind of a hallucinogenic trip or something. Because these these toys are really out there. and um, And it's cool because they came out, you know, in the early 80s, I guess like 82 or whatever, 82, 83, 84 maybe, and um, and they're they're very much back in the day of uh, like Dungeons and Dragons, Masters of the Universe, Black Star, all all that all that stuff in the early 80s, you know, because you had your Black Star before, you know, He Man and all that stuff, and uh, and and then you had uh other things like Thundar, which th this Ronin guy right here. Very much reminds me of like Thundar, and um, or like the Beastmaster character or whatever from that cheesy movie from back in the day, and um, but it's it's very D and D type fantasy looking uh, toys and stuff like that, and um, and these are neat. I, I had the dragon. I think I traded it for an old school Mattel Cylon. I think I think that was the deal, because I wanted one. I traded it for something stupid because I would have all these cool toys and then I would just go ahead and just be like. Oh, if somebody had something rare that I didn't have that was kind of beat up, I would go ahead and trade for something good for it just because it was something old and rare and I didn't have it. So I'd, I would trade something good like the two-headed dragon here for, you know, for some beat up Cylon with no weapons and all the chrome, you know, totally washed off of it or whatever, you know, something like that. But anyhow, I got this lot for about, I think about 50 bucks on eBay. Because cause right now, if you go on eBay, you're not going to find these uh, Arco Otherworld toys for very cheap. And, and another cool thing about this, too, is I got, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess I got about 10 or 12 weapons, you know, that, that came with this. And, um, and then I got the reins for the dragon, the saddle, but the saddle's busted. I don't know if the... Uh, if this creature right here, this, um, which is funny, a friend of mine thought this was pretty cool. The, uh, I guess it's kind of like a, what is it? I don't know what you say, triceratops or some kind of dinosaur slash griffin slash <laughs> bird, whatever, beast. But it's very unique. And, uh, another thing on, on how not bad these guys are that, um, so there's a little paint wear right there, but, you know, whatever. It's old. It's from 82. Uh, a friend of mine was like, Man, these look like they just, you know, kind of came out of the package. They're pretty clean. And some of them are pretty clean. Dragons don't look too bad. Monsters don't look too bad. And um, and it's cool because I got, like, three, uh, four bad guys. I got the two red guys, one green guy. Got the two little bad um, midget men or whatever. <laughs> little dwarf guys. Which are kind of funny because they look like little tiki guys. They're just weird little Kool-Aid Kind of reminds me of the Kool Aid guy too, with the face on the on the gyps or whatever, but they're just so weird. And I keep thinking, whoever created these must have been on some kind of acid trip, because they're just so weird and out there. And um, and then I got two of the good guys, good Ronin. And I don't know, I'm not sure the name of the chick or whatever, but she's cool. And um, and another thing too about these figures, is they're bendy figures, and sometimes the wires pop out. Of the holes and stuff where they get worn out and the wires just kind of cut through the you know the little rubber flesh, and uh, that's a problem with with like I think maybe the green guy and the gal. I think they both kind of have some wires trying to pop out and stuff like that. But these are mainly display pieces and stuff. They're kind of cool to mess around with and stuff, play around with. But you know, in my late thirties, I don't do too much playing. I buy most stuff to display or to maybe to the future trade or sell or something like that. But um. Or to pass down to if I were kids. But anyhow, um, and another thing too is I like to kind of collect things that I used to have when I was a kid that I lost through garage sales or whatever. 
or just lost or whatever and I, I like to try to find these things and get them again because it's, it's cool to have them they were cool to have back in the day and i think i think the dragon set and stuff was like a christmas present for my folks back in the day and i think they would kind of uh, they might remember these sometimes they just still think i'm crazy for all the toy stuff that i throw at them and, and another funny thing this is kind of not related but I remember I showed my dad all the new school Masters of the Universe classics. And I was like, look at these. These are so cool. Remember, he used to buy me these all the time. I had so many of them. And they remember He-Man because I was a He-Man fanatic. I had so many of them. I just woke up. He-Man, everything, every day, all the time. He-Man. You know, just all the time. And uh, and my dad just frowned upon the classics. He's like, these suck. And I was like, are you serious? These are awesome. And he did not like the classics. He thought the old school He-Man was way better than the classics. And I was like, well, that's, that's cool. I can take that opinion. I, I didn't agree with him, but I could take that, you know? He doesn't understand the things about articulation and stuff like that and the detail and stuff like that, you know? But it, on the other hand, I, I do love vintage stuff too, and I think vintage stuff is awesome. And, and mind you, my dad's not a toy collector. He's a jock. He's a golfer, you know? I'm, I'm the skateboard toy guy. My dad was like the opposite. He's like a, a jock. You know, I'm not into sports and not into toys and dolls and figures and stuff like that. And uh, I know it's a sin to say dolls, but, you know, some of them kind of are and some of them kind of aren't. But anyways, I got this guy, too. I don't know the name of this character, but it's really neat and it's really funny. And it's got this kind of um, weird kind of pineapple-y texture turtle shell. Little dinosaur guy. And... uh I don't know, it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. You can uh you can get a character to I mean, you can get this this chick right here to sit on him. Oops. Oh, if I can do that, if I can get that to happen. It's pretty cool. Toy. And it it kind of rolls on its own. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat little toy. And you can totally, she can totally just, you know, can totally just take down the bad guys, which is cool and fun. And, um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much my Arco haul. And I think they have some other of these in the line, which I want to get. These are really neat and these are really cool and I like them. I think these would be fun to have back in the days, but didn't have it, you know. And when I was a kid, you didn't always get everything that you wanted. But as an adult, you can kind of go out and pick and choose and get these things. And, um... Once again, thanks again for putting up with my blabbing. I've had a lot of caffeine this morning and uh, a lot to do, a lot to show you. And um, once again, yes, this is a look at my Arco Otherworld haul. And um, hopefully I can get some more in the future and maybe finish off a decent collection of these guys. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll have some new videos posted soon. Have a good day.